In this video, we'll analyze a situation where an 8 kilogram box is at rest on an inclined plane with an angle of 52 degrees to the horizontal. Uh, the box is uh, attached with a massless rope that runs up the plane, uh, but not parallel to the plane. The rope's at an angle of 20 degrees uh, higher than the plane angle. And there's a, a coefficient of friction for the box of uh, 0.24. So the first question that we want to consider here, if the tension in the rope is zero, so pretend there's no rope, does the box slide down the ramp? Does, is this rope needed at all? Well, what we want to discover here is, is the force of friction between the box and the ramp enough to balance the component of the weight of the box that goes down the plane? So we're going to reveal a little bit more here and let's talk about this diagram. I highly recommend you make a diagram when you're analyzing a problem. So we have the box uh, indicated here sitting on the ramp and let's color that in. There's a rope that's upward but 20 degrees higher than the ramp angle. And I've put on here the weight of the box straight vertically down we need to discover the values of the components of this weight to make them useful for the problem. Mg is not useful in this calculation. Our primary direction here is along the ramp, so we need to discover the value of the weight that's parallel to the ramp. And for friction calculation, we're going to need the value of the weight that's perpendicular to the ramp. So. We're trying to discover, do the forces balance here? And we don't have the rope in part A. In part B, we'll put the rope in. Uh, so let's see what happens here. Well, the weight, mg, 8 kilograms times 9.8, 78.4 newtons. To find the component of the weight that's parallel to the ramp, I use the weight multiplied by the sine of 52 degrees. The weight is the hypotenuse. 52 degrees is at the top of this small triangle. The angle at the top of the small triangle will always be the same as a ramp angle. If you've constructed your triangle in this way, with one short side perpendicular to the ramp and one short side parallel to the ramp. So we're needing information on this opposite side. So we use the sine of 52 degrees multiplied on the hypotenuse. And so that produces 61.8 newtons. That's the component of weight directed down the ramp. That force is uh, acting on the box in the direction of down the ramp. How do we calculate the force of friction? Well, we need the coefficient of friction. That's given as 0.24. And we need the normal force. We need the value of the normal force. The normal force is the force from the ramp on the object that's perpendicular to the surface, that force is going to be equal to W perpendicular. Our box is not accelerating outward from the ramp or into the ramp. There's a balance between this normal force and W perpendicular. So we used W per perpendicular for the value of F sub n. This is the side of the triangle next to the 52 degree angle adjacent to it, we use the cosine function to calculate that. So we have 0.24, uh, the normal force is 48.27 newtons, and we've discovered that the force of friction available here, static friction, the maximum static friction is 11.6 newtons. And you can uh, decide then that the frictional force, 11.6 newtons, is smaller than the component of the weight of the box going down the plane. So yes, this box will slide down the plane. Um, let's go on now. Suppose that we do have the rope here. How much tension needs to be in the rope such that our uh, system is in equilibrium? The box does not slide down the plane and the box does not go up the plane. There's a balance of the forces along the direction of the plane. You might be tempted just to subtract these numbers and uh, give us a value roughly of 50 newtons for the tension in the rope. That would not be correct. The force of the rope is at an angle. It's not along the plane. These numbers are along the plane. 
So I can't involve this for, full force F. There's a complication here. When we have the rope acting on our box, there's a component of the force of the rope that is perpendicular to the plane in the same direction as the normal force. And our normal force is no longer going to be what we calculated before, the perpendicular component of the weight. It's not going to be 48.27. The rope is pulling out from the ramp a little bit. So that's going to be our unknown force of the rope, tension in the rope, multiplied by the sine of 20 degrees. 20 degrees is our angle that our rope is above the plane, and we need the opposite side to the 20 degree angle, so we use the sine function to calculate that. And that's uh, just one piece of information we're going to use. So the rope also has a component along the plane, and that's found by F times the cosine of 20 degrees, this adjacent side to the 20 degree angle. So let's go ahead and write down our equilibrium condition along the plane. The net force along the plane must be zero. Well, we have going up the plane force times cosine of 20 degrees. We have going up the plane friction. The box tends to go down the plane. Friction always acts in a direction opposite to the tendency of move to move. To calculate the force of friction, we use the coefficient 0.24. I need to slide this up a little bit for you. Sorry about that. Uh, so. A quick review. Some of the forces along the plane have to be zero to be equilibrium. Up the plane we have the component of the rope tension, F cosine 20. Friction is 0.24 times the normal force. Our normal force is no longer 48.27. The rope is pulling the box outward from the plane a little bit, so we have to reduce 48.27 by F sine of 20 degrees. Then we still have the weight of the box down the plane, this W parallel. That all equals zero. Well, how many unknowns here? Just one. So we're, we're good to go. We go ahead and start solving that. Cosine of 20 has been evaluated. This uh, 0.24 has been distributed through the parentheses to create these numbers. And there's an F term and minus 61.8. We gather together the terms that involve F. I move the numbers to the right side, and we end up calculating here the force of the rope, the tension, needs to be 58.5 newtons. 58.5 newtons. And we might check to see if uh, this is reasonable. One thing we could check would be the normal force. How much normal force do we have now? Well, we have normal force plus this component of the tension in the rope. That's outward from the, the ramp. We've got 48.27 for the perpendicular component of the weight that pulls the box into the ramp. And we come up now with a contact force between the box and the ramp of 28.3 newtons. That's OK. It's not a negative number. If it was negative, that means um, you know, the gravity is winning, pulling the box into the ramp. Um, so it's not. We have a normal force. There is contact between the box and the ramp. So. There we have the situation of a box on a ramp. Uh, again, highly recommend read through the problem, make a sketch, label that sketch, think about what uh, concepts would apply here. This is balancing forces as a concept. Friction with coefficient of friction times a normal force. You must uh, always have this mg, the weight of the box, straight down, perpendicular, uh, sorry, perpendicular to the horizontal. But the weight has two components. One component's perpendicular. That's going to be involved in helping us know what the normal force is. And then we have a component of the weight that's parallel to the plane. And that force is acting on the box to try to uh, make it go down the plane. So if you need to, replay that a little bit and uh, stop the video along the way. And for more physics videos on uh, sample problems and short lectures, they're listed at physics.gpclements.com. There's an astronomy website, astronomy.gpclements.com. These are not fancy at all. Everything here is free. There's nothing to buy. Uh, there's no uh, registration required. It's just hopefully helpful for you to find my YouTube videos on physics and astronomy and some other general uh, interest videos as well. Please uh, watch a video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate that a lot.